Well, Larry, now that it's over, how do you think you did tonight? Great. Thanks, Joel. Uh, these people in Arizona are unbelievable. You know, I think this is one of the greatest shows I've ever done in my life. And I want everybody in America to know that I really love Arizona and the things they're doing here, it's just such a positive reaction when you go up on stage and everybody really loves you and you can feel that camaraderie between people. And I'm really very grateful, Joel, that I've had an opportunity to work here and I'm really looking forward to coming back again. Well, that's great. Well, let's get some opinions from some of the people that saw your hey, performance Joel, tonight. Before you do that, I, I just have to, uh, I have to go back inside, and I just want to say thanks to everyone, and uh, I'll see you in a little while. Okay, looking forward. Okay, Nancy, you saw Larry's act. What did you think of it? Well, I only saw about half of the act, but it, when I first walked in, all the sound effects, I thought he was doing this age regression or something, and... After I got more into it and felt more a part of the group, um, I was impressed with his uh, ability to take uh, the absurdity out of the mundane. I liked the way he took everyday events and um, made them funny. And took Walk into the laundromat. <laughs> so people could take that home with them. But that's what I do. It's like I have no idea what's going on in the water, man. It's just the same thing every week. It's just hot washed, hot rinsed, hot and that shrink. <laughs> so Terry, what do you think about the performance tonight? Uh, for the most part, it was, it was enjoyable. Uh, I, I really personally like sound effects. <laughs> So, Paulette, what do you think about the show tonight? Well, basically it was a pretty good show. I like some things better than the others. I like the part about the laundromat. <laughs> I had this brand new knit shirt, you know, I put it and came out with a hole in the sleeve. It was very depressing. I took it to a Chinese laundry guy and said, can you fix this? He said, <laughs> I fixed it. Be a big fold in the sleeve. Look like it been fixed. <laughs> you don't leave it like that. Look like you just happy. Psychology, I can use that, you know. Mr. Beasley, your phone bill's overdue. You don't leave it like that. Look like you just happy. So, Bob, what do you think about the show tonight? Oh, I enjoy Larry's sense of humor and his uh, rapport with the audience. Uh, what I'm not into, and comedy is a very subjective thing, I'm not into uh, sound effects that much or visual type comedy. I like stand-up comedians with funny stories. Nobody rides trains anymore. Everybody flies now. It's like trains are a thing of the past. It's kind of sad. Everybody flies, no nonsense, no frills. I'm real serious about no frills. You know, that's where you get on the plane and you... <laughs> get off! No, they're just done with you. <laughs> Uh, imagine riding a train one night, maybe you go to town, have a couple of drinks, it's a special occasion, uh, you know, you're having a drink with a friend, and, uh, and ah, what the heck, drink a fit. <laughs> yeah, sure, it starts to look like a catcher's mitt, you know, they're like, ah, go, go, okay, we'll see you. <laughs> anyway, uh, imagine you get on the last train out of town, and you must make it to the restroom, here's what happens.
break. Well, Larry, I gotta go. I gotta catch a bus. I'm sorry, you know. I'll see you in the movies. Good luck to you and everything. Here, could you hold this? Uh, I'm sorry, I just have to leave. Adios.